Residents of the village of Olgovka in the Kursk region recorded a video message to the ruler of Russia, Vladimir Putin. In it, they spoke about the problems they had after being evacuated from their native village and called on him to end this damned war. According to people, since August the 6th, when active fighting began in the border area, their lives have been divided into before and after, and now the village resembles a horror film, and the people themselves have become homeless. Some fellow villagers died, some went missing because the evacuation was not announced, and not everyone managed to leave. Some stayed because they thought it would only last for two days or three days, the statement says. In particular, the villagers have lost everything and are now forced to rebuild their homes. At the same time, rented apartments are beyond their means. They are not always willing to hire people, and the payments that the authorities provided have already ended for many. At the same time, according to the authorities, it will take five years to restore the village, but many are afraid to return there. We have been in hell for three months. Where can we turn? Where can we find salvation? We ask you to end this damned war that has taken many innocent lives. We want our children to see a peaceful sky, not to listen to the missile danger signal. Sort out the situation and listen to the border residents. It is not of our own free will that we are enduring all this, residents of Kursk region. The residents of Kursk region who remained silent during two years of the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine and did not call on the Kremlin to stop the aggression, now that the fighting has affected them personally, have demanded that Putin end the war. As media reported, residents of the Kursk region complain about looting by Russian soldiers. At the same time, many victims are afraid to talk about being attacked by looters. Media also wrote that the platoon commander of the 103rd Separate Brigade of the Troops, Yuri Turle, call sign Rudolf, answered the question of what could force the Ukrainian armed forces to leave Kursk region. According to him, the withdrawal of the Ukrainian defense forces from Kursk region could happen if they have to defend the Dnieper from Russian occupiers. Уважаемый президент нашей великой и могущей страны Владимир Владимирович. Вам обращаются жители села Ольговка, Горьевского района, Курской области. 6 августа 24 -го года наша жизнь разделилась на до и после. Этот работает, Крыл? А, да, да, было отработать. Вон, еще работает. Все, съебаемся. Вот 
По это постой еще сниму там. Разъебали все, что похоже на блин даже. Все блин даже в округе разбили. Даже все, что похоже на них. Ukrainian soldiers on the front know the re-election of Donald Trump will change their lives, but most say that they can't afford to lose focus on their more urgent mission, holding back Russian troops. The Associated Press visited a brigade in the eastern Kharkiv region as they loaded drones designed to carry bombs with food, water, handwarmers and other supplies for infantry soldiers engaged in combat a 15-minute flight away. The brigade's drone commander, who goes by the callsign Kit, or CAT, pilots the tiny unmanned aircraft from a basement room he jokingly calls their Airbnb. Guided by the drone's night vision camera, he drops the 10-kilogram packages one by one as close as he can to the position where as many as five infantrymen battle Russian forces. The delivery will hold them for two or three days, and that's about as far as Kit dares look into the future. He knows that Trump's presidency will change something in his life, but as far as he and other Ukrainian soldiers on the front are concerned, trying to figure out how is a game for politicians. For him, all that matters is the distance he measures in the meters that Russian forces advance or retreat in the frontline sector that is his responsibility. But he cannot escape the sense of a gathering storm. Russia is increasingly hitting the Kharkiv region with unstoppable, building leveling glide bombs and swarms of drones and chipping away at territory there. Its troops are advancing in the Donetsk and Zaporizhia regions. And up to 12,000 North Korean troops have been sent to Russia's Kursk border region to help beat back Ukrainian forces there, according to US, South Korean and Ukrainian intelligence assessments. Trump, who has called President Vladimir Putin, pretty smart, for invading Ukraine, has repeatedly criticized American backing of Ukraine. He characterized Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky as the greatest salesman on earth for winning U.S. aid. Zelensky was among the first world leaders to publicly congratulate Trump and said the two discussed how to end Russian aggression against Ukraine when they met in September. Between now and Trump's January 20th inauguration, the Biden administration has said it will send as much aid to Ukraine as possible to help hold back Russian forces and possess a strong hand in any potential peace negotiations. But Russia is pressing just as hard for an advantage in what most believe are crucial weeks to come. Другий прийняв. Гармата? Постріл!